I have a history here. In 2017, I was the mediator who helped solve this. And so I um, am not, uh, I, I, I represent the entire city. And, um, and, and of course I support teachers. And that's why I came out to say hello to the individual teachers. In terms of the dispute itself, both sides need to get to the table. I know enough of the, and they need to compromise. I know enough of this history uh, to know that this has gotten very personal and where relationships are seemingly irretrievably broken, you can't really get to the substance. And so um, there is no substitute, um, even with the tension and even with the history of the, uh, of the difficult relationships here, other than to get to the table and work this out. That's my message on behalf of, uh, of uh, the people of Sacramento. Um, the strike, uh, I want the strike to end. <laughs> Obviously for, the, for uh, the parents, for the teachers, mostly for the kids. And um, the only way it will end is if the parties get to the table and they negotiate these differences. And there are a lot of variables. But healthcare is a real issue. And at the same time, um, there are, you know, positive projections about uh, the state budget and, and its positive impact on education. So they need to take all of this and they need to just work it out. And, uh, you know, and it's more important, there's, there are stakes even more important than what happens over the next couple days. It's really about what, what happens the next months and years in this district because the district is too important. It's, 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 it's the largest district in my city um, and it's got a lot of wonderful people. But so long as uh, management and labor continue to be at loggerheads and um, these kinds of disputes fester and fester year after year, the kids are the ones that are gonna get hurt. And so that's what needs to change. And a settlement here that ends this strike um, that is a compromise because both sides have real points here, um, maybe we'll set the stage for some form of the beginning of better relations going forward. Um, you know, nobody's knocking anybody out here. It's not what's happening. I mean, and, and so understanding that and recognizing that the only solution is to get to the bargaining table and not just to posture on either side, but to work this out. If you could respond to some of the people that said that the negotiations that you helped facilitate in 2017 kind of led to this, you were responding to those people, what would you say? Well, all I did was mediate. I didn't you know, make the agreement or the substance of the agreement. I just helped them come to an agreement. Um, it, it's very complicated. Um, the agreement um, was a temporary agreement that provided some wage increases to teachers. And a month later, the county superintendent said that um, the district had long-term financial problems and couldn't afford it. And he was doing his job. Uh, and, and then what's happened over the last four to five years? The, since then, it's been almost five years. What's happened is there's been a worldwide pandemic. Schools shut down. Um, there has been more money, uh, one-time money. And so fortunately, uh, the district has not gone bankrupt, but we're in the same place we were five years ago. And so um, I've not been asked to be an active participant in this. That's fine because they, they have to work it out themselves. Um, and healthcare is a real issue. There's no question about it. Um, and, and I think there's, there are compromises there, um, but they just have to, anything is solvable. If there's a will and, um, and there is uh, a realization and a commitment to trying to go forward in a different way than what has occurred over these past couple of years. My role was, I mean, it's easy to overstate it. I just helped them make a settlement, but it was their settlement. One last question for me. Um, some people have said that the tweet that you had yesterday, I hate, to word, I hate the word tweeted, um, but the tweet that you sent out yesterday was really siding with teachers. No. Well, I'm always with teachers, so but I was me? not. I was not taking a side in the dispute. Uh, I, I was not. My my um, my job as mayor is to do anything I can to help bring both sides to the table. 
I believe in teachers. I absolutely do. I also think Jorge Aguilar has a positive vision for this district. And I think the school board is uh, working very, very hard to do their best they can. I don't want to make this about personalities. There needs to be a principled compromise here, and that principled compromise then needs to lead to some form of better relations going forward. So what I said yesterday, I knew it would be interpreted in many different so ways. Many people, yeah. Yes, was um, yes, I was saying that uh, I'm the mayor of the city that includes a lot of hard work and teachers. And yes, I support them. But in terms of this dispute, here is my position. Um, <clears throat> principled compromise is the only solution. Get to the table work it out and then leave shaking hands and committing to uh, better relationships and a better future for our kids. Perfect. Okay? Thank you.